Hello everyone, Zach here bringing you a team taste game of the day. You want to taste? Today's game we have Cody on the left playing Brilliant Arrow Gardevoir and then right we have George playing Desaplume, that dreaded Decidueye Vile Plume deck. Um, George is going to start off Trainer's Mail for an N, play an Ultra Ball, throw a Dartrix and a Decidueye, doesn't have that force in hand. Uh, maybe going to look for a Shaman, he has an N so maybe not, but uh... Over the last couple weeks, got new camera, should be looking good. Updated the overlay a little bit. Let me know if you guys want the cards back on the screen. I'm not sure, you know, I could do something like that. But let me know in the comments below. Always uh, willing to take criticisms. Uh, George is going to play an end, shuffle up. Both players going to draw six cards. Um, playing this at like two and a half times speed. Should be interesting. Watch the players fly by. Uh, George is going to be looking for that forest in that uh, first turn vile plume. Lock Cody out of the items. Going to play Trainer's Mail. See if he finds anything in the mail. And he's maybe deciding whether or not to take a supporter. No. Yep. I'm going to pick up a Sycamore. Usually when they think that hard, they're looking if they want to get that supporter. Because a lot of times they have access to shame and they don't want to draw some more cards. Right, George is going to play that Meowth down. Play Floatstone on the Oddish. That Meowth for double colorless does 50 to Pokemon, but they have to have ha had damage on them already. So there's that good synergy with uh, Decidueye. <laughs> and going to get that Vileplume line out with a Forest attached to the Rowlet and say pass. George, uh, you know he has that Sycamore in hand, so doesn't have the dead hand. Cody's just going to Sycamore a bunch of items away. Pretty useless now. Deciding whether where to put that fairy energy. He did play that fairy garden down, giving any Pokemon with fairy energy free retreat. Gonna attach to that bench Zerneus and pass. George is gonna end. You know he had a Sycamore in hand, but he probably had something like another uh, Decidueye, and he's already tossed one, so wants to get a at least one of those out this turn. But needs a force too. Um, both players shuffle up. Gonna draw six again. I, Cody, see that ninja boy. That could be used for some shenanigans. George is going to play a double colorless on the Meowth and then set up for two. That's part of the problem of uh, getting Vileplume out so early. Yourself, you have a lot of items, but... Oh, and then he's going to use a Tackle for 10 damage. So Cody's going to play Ninja Boy, actually. Looks like he's going to pick the Active and then put a Xerneas down. Xerneas' first attack, the Ge Geomancy, there we go. Search your deck for two uh, energy, fairy energy, and put them on two of your bench Pokemon. Gonna go ahead and start loading up the bench with energy. Um, it's gonna be George's. George's deciding whether or not... Okay, he's gonna retreat. Gonna attach the energy right back to Rowlet. Still doesn't have any Decidueyes out. And then gonna Turmoil Strike... The Zernaeus start stacking that damage. So Cody has going to play Sycamore, throwing away Mega Turbo, and I think that's a Mega Gardevoir in there too. Can't get any Spirit Links down, which can hurt. But Cody gonna has an energy to attach still, and going to attach that Gardevoir, and then Geomancy again, get some more energy on. Going to start trying to go for those one hits with the Mega Gardevoir, but he's going to have to take a turn to... Mega Evolve, unless he has a Hex Spirit Link in his hand. Right, George is going to draw a first turn, and then play Sycamore. Throwing away a bunch of supporters and another Decidueye. By my count, he only has two Decidueyes left. Hopefully he hits them for his sake. Um, oh, and then just going to Terminal Strike the active again. Oh, Cody's going to play Hex, <laughs> play the Spirit Link, Mega Evolve, and then Ultra Ball. Looking probably for another Gardevoir, I'm guessing. Um, doesn't. Oh, I'm going to grab the Shaman. Hopefully he doesn't play it. I don't think he will. But. Uh, left. Ooh, he only has a Mega Turbo and Shaman in hand. He can play the Mega Turbo unless. Ooh, I don't think he has any energy in the discard. Yep, just going to Geomancy again. Now he's got 
let's see, three, six, seven energy on the field. So right now he's hitting for 210 damage, which is a decent amount, but he has to get that Xerneas out of the active. All right, George is going to play Ultra Ball with Thornway, Oddish, and Lysander. He's got access to his items now because Cody hexed. So the hex was kind of a double sided uh, sword. George is going to play now in uh, Rowlet, play another Decidueye, play another Dartrix, and another Decidueye again. Ooh, next turn he'll be able to start sacking up the Feather Arrows. George then Sycamores attaches a Floatstone to the Meowth. Um, gonna retreat into the vile plume and pass. Guess he wants to knock out that uh Xerneas with a feather arrow. That gives him a little more control of who Cody can promote. Cody's gonna set up, draw a couple cards, play Gardevoir down, attach an energy, um attach or evolve his Xerneas to Xerneas break, and then use Geomancy. Looks like he's got one energy left in deck. Not too bad. George probably wants to go on the offensive soon. Um, George going to start his turn. My guess he probably has something like a Lysander in hand. Wants to... Ooh, going to promote that uh, Meowth. And then going to double Feather Arrow and Turmoil Strike. 90 damage turn isn't bad. Um, it's got to hope that Cody doesn't have that Fairy Garden for free retreat. Um, nope, Cody's just going to Mega Evolve and pass. That's the Despair Ray Mega Guard. Usually you throw one in, helps in matchups like uh, Mewtwo. All right, so he's going to Feather Arrow once that's your nice to knock it out. And then, <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. And then going to promote that uh, Zernace break. Um, now is George looking for the Lysander? Nope, going to just Turmoil Strike and Feather Arrow, the back guard of War. Um... Let's see, that Gardevoir is chilling at 160 damage, so he only has 50 left. One more Turmoil Strike. We'll knock it out. Um, yep, just Cody's going to life stream for the knockout. 20 times the number of energies on the Xerneas break, or on the his side of the field. All right, so he's going to George's going to double Feather Arrow the back and just pass. I think he's kind of tempting Cody to knock the Vile Plume out. George has a thick hand right there. Kind of like, ooh. And then... <laughs> Um, Cody's deciding whether or not he wants to. Okay, yep. Going to Lysander the Shaman and uh, live stream that for knockout. Um, now George really has to do something to respond. Or Cody can just keep taking prizes. Oh, the one Feather Arrow knocks out the Gardevoir. That takes three energy off the field. That really can cripple Cody. Uh, George goes on to three prizes. Prizes tied up three to three. And then kind of feather arrow once to the active Zerneas, attached to the Decidueye, and pass. I think George really wants Cody to knock out that Vile Plume, but uh, Cody's going to play Brock Skrit, uh, shuffle in six. It's like a double super odd uh, of energy in Pokemon. Um, don't think Cody had any energy left in the deck, so that was nice. Um, let's see what he wants to do. Bench is a Zerneas. And then going to life stream for... A hundred? Yep. Um, George is going to attach a double color list to Decidueye. Now he has two Decidueyes ready to attack. He's still just going to hide behind Vile Plume. Let's see. Decide whether to put the Feather Arrows. Maybe he can just take a Shaman. Oh, nope. Looks like he's going to go on the offensive. Can he, uh, I think he can double Feather Arrow and not Razor Leaf. Yep. That's what he's going to do to knock out that Zerneus break. No. Cody has a Mega Turbo in hand, but any way of... If he doesn't have a Hex... Oh, he has two energies on. Never mind. So he's going to Despair Ray, knocking off that Shaman for 120 damage. I think George can just... George only has two prizes left, so he only has to take out the Mega Guard. He's going to double up Feather Arrow onto the active and probably just Razor Leaf. Um... George, I think, is trying to make it a little more complicated than it needs to be. <laughs> Going to retreat and leave that Vile Plume active. <laughs> George really doesn't like that Vile Plume. And then Cody's... Is he going to kill the Vile Plume? That might leave George open to take the final knockout. But Cody's in a position where he maybe just can knock out the Vile Plume, and if George doesn't KO the 
Gardevoir in her turn, then Cody can just Lysander up the Shaman if George can't get the Vileplume back down. Um, but George has that hand of like 18 cards. Probably has a couple of revitalizers. George is going to double feather arrow with the Mega Guard. And just going to pass. Um, <laughs> George is just going to Mega Evolve his Gardevoir. They're playing kind of a stalemate. <laughs> so George is going to retrain the uh, Decidui and just take those last few prizes. Um, the double feather of Razor Leaf was enough to knock him out. But thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the new overlay. Do I need the Pokemon on it? Let me know. Later.